Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a review on the Too Faced Peaches and Cream collection. This is one of the newest launches from Too Faced and I picked up a few products from Sephora to try out. So today I'm going to do a review on the Prime and Peachy Primer, the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and the Peach Kiss Lipstick in the shade Sunday Fun Day. If you'd like to see how the products perform on the face and my review on them, then please keep watching. So first off for the Primed and Peachy Primer, this is the bottle right here. It is the Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer Primer. It's infused with peach and sweet fig cream. I think the packaging is like adorable. I think the packaging is so cute. It's just like the Hanover RX primer from Too Faced. It has the like little bottle with a pump. So it says that this is supposed to give a mattifying soft focus finish that's lightweight, comfortable, and smells as good as it feels. It is a long lasting cooling matte primer that blurs and smooths your complexion with the brightening peach tint that works on any skin tone. So that is all it says on the box. Basically it's a cooling primer that is supposed to mattify your skin and kind of like blur imperfections and pores. In my opinion it does do that. I've been using it probably for like a couple of weeks already. I already moisturized my face with this primer since it's, it's a mattifying primer and especially because the foundation is mattifying as well it's really important that I moisturize my face I always moisturize my face anyway I mean once in a while if I'm lazy I'll just use a moisturizing primer just so it's one step but when I use this I have to moisturize my face first because if I don't then my skin's gonna be dry this is the primer on the back of my hand it's a very thick primer and it has a peach tint like it says And I do like the cooling feel that it gives your skin. It's supposed to be a cooling matte primer and it definitely does have a cooling effect. It's not anything that's like super strong where it is irritating, but I do notice that it feels cooling on your face, which makes it feel really like refreshing. So I basically just put it on my whole face and I do notice that it does seem to blur my pores a little bit and kind of smooth everything out, make everything look a little bit more even. So in comparison, this is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. In my opinion, this works just a little bit better at kind of blurring pores and blurring imperfections just like a tad bit more blurring in my opinion. But the Too Faced one still does work pretty well. One plus about the Too Faced one is that it has a nice scent to it. The peach scent isn't very strong. It's very, very faint. In my opinion, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, those are much stronger in terms of scent. This is very light. You can still smell it a little bit. Now next is the foundation. So this is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Like the other product, this is infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It says this is oil-free, has 14 hour wear, is oil controlling and photo friendly. And this is the bottle. It looks just like the primer, but it's a little bit bigger so you can see primer is on this side it's a little bit shorter but you actually get almost the same amount of product the foundation has 48 mils and the primer has 40 mils so even though it's a little bit smaller it's pretty close in terms of size that you get for the peach perfect foundation I got the shade vanilla I think I'm gonna check on the website but I think that was the lightest one that was kind of in the neutral to warm spectrum of shades can't remember if there was a lighter one but it might have been cool toned I'm pretty sure this was the lightest one that looked like it would work for me but as you'll see when I put this on this is still too dark for me and I'm pale but I'm not like super duper pale like I know that there's people that have fairer skin than me so if that's the case and you have really fair skin you probably won't find your shade especially if you have more neutral to warm undertones for your skin but I get around that by just lightening it up a little bit it says peach perfect is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig cream in our exclusive comfort matte lawn wearing 14 hour formula the modern way to wear matte foundation photo friendly smooth Smooth, flawless and comfortable with a soft focus velvety finish it is oil free has 14 hour wear oil controlling photo friendly and shine free which I already said was on the bottle oh it says transfer resistant medium coverage so they claim that it gives you medium coverage and that's about it that's all it says on the box and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on its own so you can see so this is the foundation on its own it does look kind of dark if you can tell compared to my skin tone on my hand I know normally you wouldn't compare your foundation shade to what your skin looks like on your hand because it's obviously gonna be a little bit different than your face just so you can see get an idea that this is too dark for me I just mix in the LA girl pro coverage white foundation this is the foundation lightener I use this with a bunch of my foundations because some of them tend to be a little bit too dark. Obviously, since this is not the same exact foundation formula as this, it is going to change up the formula slightly. This is supposed to be a comfort matte foundation. This is a 
lawn wear illuminating foundation so this does give you a little bit more of a dewy finish so when you mix them together it kind of gets you somewhere in the middle between comfort matte and illuminating. I put two pumps of the peaches and cream on the back of my hand and then I put one pump of the LA girl and then I'll just mix them with the back of a brush and then to blend this out I'm just going to use a damp beauty blender so just kind of blend this all over the face. This foundation, since it's a comfort matte formula, it does set pretty quickly, so you want to make sure that you work in sections. I wouldn't advise like dotting the foundation on your entire face and then going to blend it out because then it's going to set faster and you want to make sure you have time to blend it out. Okay, so this is one side of my face done and the other side obviously has nothing. Just right off the bat, you can see that this has pretty good coverage. Definitely you can tell on this side. I have a lot more redness on this side. Everything looks even with no redness really. I love how this foundation looks on the skin. It doesn't emphasize pores. It doesn't look like you could see it breaking up or anything. Since I have large pores, for me some foundations, they tend to kind of break up around where I have large pores. And then you could obviously see that you have foundation on. This one doesn't do that, definitely a good thing. So um, I'm just gonna put this on the rest of my face so you can see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so that's it for the foundation blended all out. And I do like how this foundation looks. I definitely think it is a buildable formula. I know it says medium coverage. I do agree that it's medium coverage. I do feel like this is a foundation that you could build up a little bit to maybe get kind of closer to full coverage. And I did use a damp beauty blender. So just like with any other foundation that does sheer it out a little bit and helps to blend it out. So if you did go in straight with a damp beauty blender or even with a brush to blend it out, then you're gonna get slightly more coverage with less product, if you know what I mean. But I like using a damp beauty blender because it just makes everything blend a little bit more seamlessly and look even. So I do really like how this looks so far. It doesn't really accentuate pores or fine lines or anything so I think it looks pretty nice and even though it is a comfort matte it doesn't look super matte and dry. It doesn't set down really fast. It still has a little bit of tackiness to it. If you have more normal to dry skin, it might set down even faster for you. I have more combination oily skin, so foundations tend to not set down until I actually set them with a powder for me. I don't feel like I really need concealer anywhere but under my eyes just to conceal my dark circles. I'm going to apply this to my under eyes. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. Maybe I'll put a little bit on my nose just to help kind of highlight that. Okay, I'm just going to set my face with the Skin Food Buckwheat Loose Powder in the shade 10. Okay, so now my face is obviously set and everything feels nice and matte, not tacky anymore. Of course, because I set my face with powder. I personally think that this foundation looks really nice on the skin. I think it gives a really nice, even finish. It looks very natural on the skin. It does not look like foundation. Of course, you can tell I'm wearing foundation, but what I mean is that it doesn't look like caked on foundation and you can't see, you know, where it's breaking up or anything. It looks very smooth and natural and it just gives a really nice coverage. It has a really nice finish and I really like it. Just like the primer, the foundation isn't very strong in terms of the scent. It has a very slight peach scent to it, but it's very faint in my opinion. So if you don't like scented products, then you might be okay with this because it's not that strong. But if you can't handle any kind of scent, then of course you're not going to like any products from this line because they all have that peach and sweet fig cream scent. Just so you know. I'm just going to finish up the rest of my face so that I could try the lipstick on and give you my final thoughts. So I'll be right back. So as you can see, I finished up the rest of my makeup. Now I'm just going to apply some lipstick. It is the Too Faced Peaches and Cream Lipstick Collection in the shade Sunday Fun Day. Okay, so first of all, I know you probably have seen this already either in a YouTube video or Instagram or just online in general or maybe in person. But I think that this packaging is beautiful. It's so cute. I think it's like the cutest packaging I have of any lipstick that I personally own. It has the color of the shade right here on the cap. And then it has a little peach logo with the TF for Too Faced. And then on the little lipstick container, it says Too Faced. And then the back is white or the background is white. And then it has this cute little peach right here in gold. 
I just think that is so cute and then you know the shade name is on the bottom I do like how they put the shade it's not like the exact color of the shade but you know so you get the idea of what shade it is in case you had a bunch of these you would know what shade you're picking up if you're just looking at the top but I just think the packaging is so cute it opens like this mine I have already used it a few times so it doesn't look perfect like it did when I first bought it but I'm sure you could you've seen this before it has peaches like imprinted on the lipstick and then it said Too Faced on it as well it was just like imprinted on it I think this shade is stunning I've seen so many people wear this on YouTube and on Instagram so I feel like this is one of their best sellers for this collection and I definitely really like this shade first I'm just going to line my lips with some liner I'm using the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder contour lip liner in the shade in the buff I know that this is not available anymore because the Estee Edit was discontinued from Estee Lauder but this is like one of the only new lip liners I don't have a ton of lip liners I have probably like four or five lip liners in total this is the closest shade I have to this Too Faced lipstick so that's why I'm using it Okay, now I'll just fill in my lips with the lipstick. Okay, so this is how the lipstick looks on my lips. And I do really like the color of this lipstick. I think the shade is stunning. So this is the Peach Kiss lipstick from Too Faced. It is the Moisture Matte Lawn Wear Lipstick infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So it is supposed to be a moisture matte formula. So that makes me think it's going to be like a comfort matte formula. It's supposed to be moisturizing and comfortable on your lips without drying them out, but make your lips still have a matte finish. It says, achieve a burst of intense matte color, unsurpassed comfort, and hydration with this lawn wearing refreshing peach and sweet fig cream infused formula. That's all it says on this little box. It does feel nice on lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. This definitely has more of a peach scent compared to the foundation and the primer. So so I guess it depends on what product you get from this peaches and cream collection for you know how strong the fragrance is going to be but anyway I hope that this was helpful in case you had any like questions or were interested in the Too Faced sweet peach no not sweet peach if you're interested in the peaches and cream collection from Too Faced and let me know in the comments down below if you've tried out any of these products and what you think about them or if you've tried other products from this new line from Too Faced let me know what you think about them because I would love to hear what your thoughts are because I haven't tried the other products yet. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!